I have been a, uh, a holistic physician now for about 35 or 36 years. And uh, I practiced for many years and I was always uh, very focused on trying to understand what was really wrong with my patients. And uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bandaid them. I didn't want to give them a temporary fix. I wanted to actually figure out what was really wrong with them, why they were actually having symptoms. And I was very driven about this and really kind of obsessed with getting to the underlying causes of things. And I had been a computer programmer before I became uh, a doctor. And what I found was that um, the subconscious mind within each patient um, knows exactly what's wrong with them. And uh, that's how it worked for me in my practice. I, I, I learned ways to communicate with the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is a, it's a, it's a computer that is more powerful than we can comprehend, I believe. Um, and to understand this, I mean, you have to think about your conscious mind. Uh, right now we're, we're having this panel uh, we're we're using our conscious minds to communicate with each other. People are listening with their conscious minds. They're watching with their conscious minds. When you go to sleep at night, your conscious mind shuts down. And what's left is your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is that vastly intelligent part of you, the computer within you that is creating trillions of chemical reactions every minute and keeping your heart beating and you know your um, your lungs working and keeping everything running. Well, that part of you uh, knows exactly what's wrong with you. It knows the whole health uh, history uh, of your body and your life. And it knows, uh, it remembers everything you've ever done, uh, every face you've ever seen in a crowd. Uh, every split second of your life is recorded in that subconscious mind. And uh, we know this because under certain circumstances, uh, when people are having brain surgery done, they have found that if, if a surgeon touch, touches an electrode to a certain part of the brain, memories will come back. It would otherwise be totally unremembered. So they're all stored away in our bodies. And what I found was um, there are ways to communicate with that subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is a computer, um, but it's, it's almost like an alien computer to us. Um, if you think about it, I'm sitting here, I've got a laptop, I've got a screen and I've got a keyboard and I can see messages on the screen and I can use the keyboard to communicate with the computer. Right. And, um, if I have a phone, you know, I have a screen. If it's a smartphone, I've, I can touch things. So it's a touch screen interface. The subconscious mind has a completely different, totally alien interface for us. There's no keyboard for our bodies. We have no screen where we can, dis where we can see messages that are being displayed by the subconscious mind, by that internal computer. And so instead, um, how our subconscious minds communicate to us is through our symptoms. And um, so if you have migraine headaches or back pain or neck pain or knee pain, or uh, if you're dealing with depression or anxiety or phobias or panic attacks or PTSD or eating disorders or some kind of self-sabotage, or if you are, um, if you're diagnosed with some kind of a disease, uh, if you're dealing with infertility or asthma or digestive disorders, or you, you've developed cancer or something else, all of those are messages from the subconscious mind. They're messages on the screen of the subconscious computer that there's something else going on that needs to be addressed. And so when we have a symptom like that, it should be the beginning of a dialogue with that internal computer. And that's how the emotion code and the body code and the belief code, uh, that's the fundamental underpinning of all of these methods of healing, that the subconscious mind is a, a computer that is aware of every imbalance that is going on in the body. And uh, I wrote the Emotion Code book first and published that in 2007. And the reason for that was because I found that uh, the vast majority of the imbalances that were causing trouble for my patients was actually uh, what I came to call their emotional baggage. And emotional baggage is the energy of the emotional experiences that we have gone through that uh, that were maybe kind of intense or that we buried that we didn't want to experience. And those emotional energies are still with us. And a trapped emotion is what we refer to these as. Uh, a trapped emotion is literally a ball of emotional energy 
about the size of a baseball. And uh, these can lodge anywhere in the body and wherever they lodge, they will distort the normal energy field and often cause physical pain. In fact, 90% of the, the physical pain that people experience is actually due to their emotional baggage, which is an amazing figure, but that's why I wrote the book. Um, the, so the, uh, the emotion code in English looks like this. And um, the uh, body code um, <clears throat> looks like this in English. Now, let me explain what the body code is. So, so first of all, the emotion code is just a very simple, easy way that enables anyone to find and get rid of their emotional baggage. It's easy enough that children can learn how to do it. People can learn the whole entire method from the book itself. Now, during the years that I was in practice, um, I learned an awful lot about what goes on in the body because I was able to you know, communicate with the subconscious minds of my patients. And, uh, and that might sound esoteric and, and weird, but it's actually very simple. Uh, the subconscious mind is essentially a binary computer at least in terms of its interface. And what that means is if you ask a question, uh, you can ask a question out loud, for example, of a person. And if the answer from their subconscious mind is yes, their arm will be strong and you'll be able to resist your downward pressure. Um, if the answer is no, then their arm will be weak. It's just a really simple thing. Um, it's called kinesthetic testing or muscle testing. And so, um, so, because I was a computer programmer before I became a doctor, I always had a computer there with me in my practice, in my treatment rooms. As I was working on people, I would record things that I was finding, new things. I was also, um, I was also very prayerful. I was, I was looking for any information that I could find anywhere that I could find it about how I could help my patients. I was looking at ancient sources, modern sources, every source I could find. And if anything actually seemed to work, I kept that. If it didn't work, I got rid of it. But I was also prayerful. I was asking God to help me with every person that I saw. And there were times, uh, this didn't happen very often, but there were, there were occasions where in response to that ask for help, information would flood into me about what to do and how to help this person. It was an amazing thing. It didn't happen very often, but it did happen. And so if you can imagine, here I am for, you know, roughly 20 years working on patients day in, day out, cataloging everything that I'm finding. And, um, and eventually, um, all of those things came together into six different categories that look like this in the body code book. And so these are the six different categories of imbalances that we suffer from as human beings. And, uh, and so, for example, one of those is, is energies. Trapped emotions are in this category, along with traumas and things like that. Um, another category is pathogens. Of course, we're all familiar with pathogens, viruses, and bacteria, things like that. Um, another category is what we call circuits and systems, which is the circuitry of the body, the organs, the glands, the connections between the, the physical body and the, uh, uh, and the spirit and so on. There are misalignments. Any tissue can misalign. That's another category. Uh, another category is toxins. We know how we become toxic uh, from the food we eat and so on. And uh, then the last one is nutrition and lifestyle. Maybe you're deficient in a certain vitamin or mineral or something like that. So there's those six categories. Well, what happened was about a year after the Emotion Good book came out, I woke up one morning and my mind was full of instruction. And the instruction was, you need to take everything that you've learned about natural healing and put it into a self-study course that anyone can learn to make it available to everyone everywhere. And I, and I remember thinking, are you sure about this? This sounds like it might actually take some work, right? Um, but that instruction did not come from me. That, uh, that came from above, from the higher power, you know, from God, source energy, universe, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing, I think. And, um, and so it took a year to create the first version of the body code. Now, the body code is an app. Uh, it's called the body code system. And it's available, you know, online and so on. And so that's the body code. It enables you to uh, really for the first time uh, in human history that we know of uh, have a, uh, uh, an actual map that the subconscious mind can relate to and that then it can communicate to you very easily 
what the actual imbalances are that are going on in your body. Now, this is a, um, uh, this is a monumental, fundamental paradigm shift uh, watermark in human evolution, I believe, because, you know, you think about it. I mean, we got these bodies long ago and they came with no manual. They've been a mystery to us for most of human history. Um, and now of course we know all about things that go on in the body. We we've documented all kinds of things, but we still don't really know, um, why it all works. Right or what the purpose of life is, or what, what's really going on. Um, but, um, but I've been able to answer those questions uh, for myself. And, uh, and I absolutely believe and know for a fact that um, life is divine, that we are divine beings, uh, that these bodies actually are um, a, a temple that house our spirit, and that uh, we live before we came here. And we're here having this experience and, and we go on after this life is over. And so um, it's the most amazing thing, really. It's a, it's a very sacred thing. So that's the body code in a nutshell. It enables anybody to find exactly what's really going on with them or with their mom or dad or their sister or whatever. Now, the belief code works very similarly to the body code. And the way that the belief code works is... Um, we are able, by using muscle testing, we're able to determine what the negative belief statements are that exist within a person's subconscious mind. Now, we all build up beliefs about the world around us, about other people, about ourselves. And sometimes those beliefs that we have that are held in the subconscious are correct, but oftentimes they're not. And um, oftentimes we end up having these subconscious beliefs that are absolutely opposed to what we consciously want. And yet, because the subconscious mind is so incredibly powerful, so much more powerful than the conscious mind, um, those are the things that tend to manifest for us, those negative beliefs that are held in the subconscious. And so with the belief code, we're able to actually identify those negative belief systems and, uh, and actually delete those negative beliefs that are in the subconscious mind. And um, we're having phenomenal success. We now have certified practitioners all over the world in the belief code, and we only introduced it in October of this last year. So um, it's just growing like wildfire, and people are having amazing results and, uh, and are seeing lives change. So it's very exciting.